What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So if you can remember back early last week, I mentioned that I'm going to be getting started on a larger project. And that is what today is going to be. I'm going to actually be getting started on a shoe rack. For the last probably three or four days, I've been online looking at a bunch of different styles that I could use, um, kind of to bring up my inspiration for this. And I think what I've settled on is kind of a mission style with some slats and I, I'm slowly going to get into it as this project and this series um, progresses. So, and, and if you watched um, one of the videos from last week, I actually practiced a draw bore mortise and tenon. I will be incorporating that into this project and I think that's going to be a great way to improve my joinery skills and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So naturally, like any project begins, I first have to figure out what material I'd like to use for this project. I have actually a lot of oak left over from a large, large project that I did over the summer where I built a cabinet for my grandma. Um, I think I want to use some leftover of that. I think there should be enough material to do this project in particular. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use that.
that is going to wrap it up for the day. Whenever we start a project, it always begins with the milling up of the stock. There's always a process of cutting, jointing, uh, planing, cutting, piece after piece after piece until you build up all the pieces that are eventually going to go into your piece of furniture or whatever you're making. That, that was really what today was about. It was a lot of fun. I actually enjoy that, that process. I mean, I didn't always have all these tools, but at first it was really hard, you know, many years ago trying to mill up a piece with hand planes and doing it by hand. But now that I had the actual machinery and the, the equipment to do it, it makes it a lot more enjoyable and fun. So what we ended up doing was cutting the four cross members right here, as well as pieces that are going to make up the sides and the other cross rail pieces. Now because, like I mentioned earlier, this is actually going to be a mission inspired piece, I am going to have a lot of strips for the slats um, that the shoes will actually sit on. I'm not going to actually mill those today, I will do that later, probably um, in the next couple days after I get the joinery done on this, which will be tomorrow's video. So that kind of, in a nutshell, is what we are going to be doing. I'm going to be continuing this here tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. I'll be doing the draw bore uh, mortise and tenon, as well as some other dovetailed um, joinery as well. So that is basically going to be it for this one, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. By the way, the gift box giveaway that I'm doing, I'm going to have that open for a few more days. I'll give you an end date in the next couple days of the cutoff for that. Um, I definitely recommend you enter to win that. It's a beautiful box. If you did enter to win it, I'd like to thank you. I, I hope you win. So there is a link down below if you would like to do that. That's basically all I have for this one. For you guys today, I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.